how does comparing someone to a Neanderthal help convince them to change course and get on board with your public health message? The behavior of a Neanderthal, just to be very clear, um, the behavior of. Look, I think the president, uh, what, what, we, what everybody saw yesterday was a reflection of um, his frustration and exasperation, which I think many American people have, that for almost a year now, uh, people across the country have sacrificed. Uh, and many times they haven't had information they need from the federal government. They haven't had access to uh, a greater understanding of what the public health guidelines should look like. Uh, and those include many, many people in Mississippi, in Texas, uh, in Ohio, Florida, in every state across the country. And you know, he believes that um, with more than half a million Americans' lives lost, uh, with families that continue to suffer, that uh, it's imperative that people listen across the country, whether they live in a red state or a blue state, to the guidance of public health experts. At the same time, uh, you've watched the president closely for some time, Mary, as you all have. He's going to engage with and talk with people who disagree with him on a range of issues, including this one. Uh, but he believes that if we're going to get this pandemic under control, we need to follow public health guidelines. He simply has was asked, uh, asked the American people to abide by wearing masks for 100 days. We're at about day 40. Are we at day 40? Around there, 60 more days. Uh, that's what he's asking. And he's certainly hopeful that businesses and people across the country will continue to do that. Does the prior administration deserve some credit for laying the groundwork? W which ones are we following? Well, for instance, uh, former Trump HHS Assistant Secretary Admiral Brett Girard has said that you're following 99% of the playbook they created on vaccines. Uh, he has said that, that the prior administration deserves more credit here for at least getting the ball rolling on some of these. I don't think anyone deserves credit when half a million people in the country have died of this pandemic. Uh, so what our focus is on and when the president's focus is on when he came into office just over a month ago was ensuring that we had enough vaccines. We have that we are going to have them now. We had enough vaccinators and we had enough vaccine locations to get this pandemic under control. Uh, there's no question and all data points to the fact that there were not enough of any of those things when he took office. Uh, we are open-eyed about the challenge we continue to uh, live under, and that's why he has been focused every single day and doing everything possible to get the pandemic under control. Uh, but those were there were shortages in all those areas uh, which were preventing us from moving forward on getting the pandemic under control. Go ahead. 